Okay, this problem is involves light that is traveling into uh, plastic. Uh, the speed of light in a plastic is given as the velocity is equal to 1.90 uh, times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. And it, it hits the plastic, that's the normal, it hits the plastic at an angle of incidence of 22 degrees. The question now, if this is the plastic and this is air, which one of these two mediums is slower? Well, the speed of light in air is approximately 3 times 10 to the power of 8. So therefore we're going from fast to slow and therefore that's an FSTN situation and so therefore we're going to bend towards the normal so instead of going straight uh, we're gonna bend this way towards the normal and we're looking for this angle here which is theta r we'd like to find what that is well the way to do this is to use Snell's law and Snell's law says ni sine theta i which is angle of incidence is equal to the index of refraction uh, in the refracted medium times sine theta r now what we're looking for is theta r so therefore we can say alright well theta r, at least sine theta r, is equal to ni sine theta i divided by nr. But we want the angle, not the sine of the angle, so therefore we have to take the inverse sine of both sides. And that's the equation that we end up with. Now, what are we given and, and what, what can we plug in at this point? Well, question, do we know the index of refraction of air? Yes, we do. Air is equal to 1.0003, and that's unitless. Do we know the angle of incidence? Yes, we do. That's 22 degrees. Do we know NR? Well, at this point, we don't, but what we are given is we are given the velocity. Therefore, we should be able to figure out from the velocity the index of refraction. The index of refraction is equal to the, veloci the velocity of light, which is c, divided by the velocity in the medium. Therefore, that's going to equal 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second divided by 1.9 times 10 to the power of 8, which is what the velocity of light is in this plastic, and that's going to give us an index of refraction of 1.58. So now that we know the index of refraction of this plastic medium, we can now substitute this value uh, into there. And we can now solve for theta r, and so we're going to go the inverse sine of air, index of refraction of air, times the sine of 22 degrees divided by 1.58. And that is going to give us a value of 13.7 degrees. So what, that, what we now know is if we go back to the, uh, to the diagram, this angle here, theta r, is going to be 13.7 degrees. And that's the end of this problem.